today we're going to build this shelf out of reclaimed pine lumber. These boards are from an old bed I had when I was a kid, but you could also use 2x12s instead. I started by cutting the boards to rough length with my circular saw to make them a little bit more wieldy. Then I used my planer to remove the old finish. This was really, really satisfying. Here I'm using my circular saw to cut down the sides, shelves, and top to length. As you probably already noticed, I'm using a piece of pink foam to cut on. It does a really good job of supporting your surface as you're making cuts and it doesn't hurt your tools when you cut into it. I'm also using another piece of wood to support the circular saw fence on these end cuts. This is a nice way to make sure you get a good clean cut. I used one shelf to measure the width of my rabbit, then I clamped down the straight edge and used my router to cut away half of the thickness of the board. You're going to want to make this cut in several passes so you don't overheat your router bit. There's many ways to cut these joints. I'm going to show a couple other options later, including a circular saw and using a chisel. I repeated the process by drawing and then clamping a straight edge to cut away the dado for the middle shelf. If you're enjoying the video, consider hitting the thumbs up button, subscribing, and turning on notifications. Thanks! As I mentioned, you can also use the chisel to remove the excess wood. While it's a little bit more work, it is very, very satisfying. You'll see here I cut the rabbit a little bit deep. I'm not quite sure how this happened, but I can just clean it up after the glue up. As I was saying, you can use a circular saw to cut all of these joints. It's actually really easy. I started by scoring the line to reduce the chance of tear out. Then you set your blade to the depth and use a straight edge to make continuous cuts to keep removing all the material you need to remove. Make sure you sneak up on your cuts so that way you're gonna get a nice snug fit and you can always go back with sandpaper as you'll see me do in a minute to loosen things up a little bit. I finished up with a chisel because it was just a little bit cleaner and also, as I mentioned, very satisfying. Things were a little bit tight, so I went back with a sanding block and got a perfect fit. As I mentioned, take your time. The second dado on the side ended up being a little bit loose, which is not ideal. Next, I used the table saw to rip a little bit off of each side to get rid of that remaining varnish that was still there. And I sanded everything down with 150 grit sandpaper. For the glue up I dry fit everything and then I applied blue painters tape to limit excess glue squeeze out. This worked really well, just make sure you don't get the tape caught in the joint or you're going to definitely regret it. I glued one side up, clamped it, and then used a brad nailer to secure the bottom since you're not going to see that anyway. You could also just clamp it but that would take a little bit longer. Once that was done, I clamped up the middle shelf and let it dry. I 
I've repeated the same steps for the other side. And I glued and clamped the top. I had intentionally left the top a little bit long with the intent to come back and use my pull saw to trim it down and then the plane to get it completely flush. This gave it a nice clean finish. I also used the hand plane to clean up some of the sides which were not perfectly flush. I used a flush cut bit on my router to trim down the bottom rabbits and they ended up looking really good so no harm no foul. Then I used a roundover bit to add a curved edge along the sides and the top of the shelf. I did this to add some visual contrast, but also since this is for my son and I don't really want him smacking his head on a sharp edge. After another round of sanding, I applied three coats of Wipe One Polyurethane. I was originally going to stop here, but I decided for visual appeal it needed some legs. So I cut down some legs and then attached them to the shelf with screws and glue. After seeing the shelf right side up, I didn't like how long the legs were, so I marked and cut them down to something a little bit shorter. And after finishing them with a little bit of poly, it was done. I'm pretty satisfied how this turned out. It's not my favorite project I've ever done, but it's also not my least favorite. I should have taken a little bit more time with the dado on the one side because that tiny crack is really annoying even if you don't see it. I do like the contrast between the two types of pine that I had to work with. I'm not sure why they turned out like that, but I think it looks pretty good. I also considered adding some backers to the shelves, but I'm going to live with this a little bit before I make a decision on that. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate all of your support and I'll see you in the next episode.